Hey guys, welcome back to Darksiders 3. In this episode, we're gonna continue on with the Wrath boss fight. I'm gonna try getting in as much progress as I can in this episode, because it's not that I'm disliking this game, but I wanna finish it because I have so many good ideas for streaming and shit. That I really want to get to it. So, it turns out I was overcomplicating things a little bit with my thought process mainly. Turns out this boss is really as simple as you just have to pummel him and hope that he dies before he can heal. I was thinking there's like a whole tactic you have to do and there's some like involved process. Turns out there really isn't. So that's basically a guaranteed heal. If he does that, yeah, he's got it. People say that it's easier. I said it's easier. Yeah, I think I might get lucky here. Because he's like separated. Yes. Okay. So this is phase two. Because he has a phase two. He has his little armor on, two swords. But, watch this. He seems to have gotten smaller too. Not sure about that. Can you heal? Thank you. So here on out, I think things might be a little bit more simple. He has this attack, which I think is basically, yeah, he's, oh, he's not invincible. All right. Sorry, this is... I'm in concentration mode. Come on, where is my super? Heal. He's dead. Almost. Yes. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Second phase was actually mad easy. Look. Shit, I'm knocking it to my mic stand. I do apologize for all this. He's very... He looks like a straight-up Warhammer character. Warhammer fantasy, not 40k. Like a Chaos Warlord or something. Oh, shit. Splat. Damn. He got annihilated. Oh, yeah, because he had a crush on her. Poor Wrath, cock blocked once again. Well, once again, I don't know if there has been previous cock blockings. Oh, he <laughs> straight up crushed him. I assume we do not get that weapon. Cool. I thought she was gonna pick up that sword and betray us. Naisu. Well, I think it seems that officially... Why the fuck did I not get any souls for that boss fight? But... Officially, there is one of these bitches left. The main one. What's her name? Yeah, I should use these. Not Envy. Pride. Shatter to gain attribute points. Hell fucking yeah. Alright, let's level up because, as you can see, we have quite a few souls. I'm gonna leave some for weapon upgrades as well. I like buying shit. Okay, one more. 
Show me your wares, bitch. Okay, let's buy like two of these. Three of these, I don't know. Two more of these. I even though I'm pretty sure I have plenty. Uh let's see. Serpent hole. Oh, we need to go back to the Lord of Hollows, right? Because I beat Which one is yeah, the Lord of Hollows is chamber. Because I beat what's his name? The demon for him. So there should be like something here. Something 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 extra. He was the one asking for me to kill the demon, right? Oh god, hopefully we don't have to fight him either because I don't want another boss fight. Alright, Lord of Hollows. I forgot that there was even a warp point here. Oh, he's, we're gonna have to fight him, aren't we? What the hell? Please don't tell me we have to fight him. Now, answer me. Are you here to end me? You should know. You prophesied this. Yes, I did. And if there was ever a time. He looks like a Warhammer character. No, he looks like a World of Warcraft character. Bear the Lord of Hollows. Agraxus said you mean to hollow the earth, that you used me to gain the power to do so. Uh, a demon who speaks true. But we killed him. But Abraxas did not. Tell me. There was a time long ago when I belonged to the Charred Council. Look. Yeah, because you're not a giant uh, stone face. This is actually kind of interesting. No, you simply do not fear them as others do. Someone needs to prevent humanity from reaching its full potential. They did so with this premature war. And the council? Allowed it to happen, and no, I cannot prove it. They was removed from their ranks long ago. I assume that's uh, basically Satan, because he's like the main bad, bad guy. You see him at the end of every game. Interesting. What do you choose? Uh, 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 I choose life. It is a good feeling to have a purpose. 
So we're gonna be like the protectors of humanity. Kind of fitting in the end because she's like the most asshole-ish and then she's gonna be the... Holy shit. They saved the budget for this one for sure. But yeah, I like... One thing this game got right, and I like that. She actually has character development. Whereas the others, like Death and War, didn't really. Uh, they were the same at the start as at the end. And, you know, she actually changes, which is cool. Look at her hair. She's badass. Trinket trembles, threatening to shatter from the immense pressure of what it contains. But not really. Something else you want to tell me, mistress? Oh, of course, because she serves the council. I'm tired of demons with delusions of grandeur. This is interesting. I like it. So maybe the charred council is the final boss? That would be even more interesting. But no, we cannot kill him because this takes place before. I always forget this takes place before Darksiders. Uh one, you know. I think I'm happy with that. Now, we are going to Serpent Hole back to the Maker's Forge. Let's see what we can do with our weapons. And then it's time to get to Pride. I always forget which one she is. I assume we can... I, I, I don't think I've missed one. It would be kind of weird. If I missed one. Yeah. And she's gonna be difficult, ain't she? I can already tell. I mean, Wrath, Wrath was kinda... Well, again, I overthought it. I thought there was like some puzzle aspect to killing it. It's kinda a shame there wasn't. Would have been cool if there was a more elegant way of, you know... Preventing him from gaining health instead of just... Hit him some more, you know? Upgrade weapon. Barbs of Scorn. We need chunk of uh, fucking tight night chunks. Sliver and bees. The chain. Wow, I haven't upgraded the chain and the lance in a long time. Okay, let's buy some pieces of adamantine. From our good pal, Volgrim. <coughs> I mean, even so, the barbs are... Like, that's your main weapon, so... It's the one that does the most damage. Sli yeah, peace. I mean, it even goes with the same increments. I don't remember how much we need. Wait, he still has an essence of a chosen? Weird. I should have looked at more about how much I needed. I was just distracted by the fact that I was kind of shocked by how little I have some of my weapons upgraded. What up? Upgrade weapon. Okay, we need slivers. So we need one, two, three more. Okay, we can upgrade this. The mallet. So we need pieces, pieces, pieces. <clears throat> Which is the expensive one, ain't it? Just doing a little bit of back and forth. I could probably cut this out if I wanted to, but... Damn, so expensive. Alright, that's it. Hello. <laughs> They're really doing the Mark Hamill, don't they? Several characters. This is straight up Joker laugh. Of course, no one can imitate Mark Hamill. 
Oh, but fuck, I, I'm such an idiot. I'm not paying attention, am I? I'm distracted. That was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Now, actually, there have been stupider things. Why do I keep buying pieces? I'm retarded. I need I needed slivers. Oh, well. God damn it. Well, that's what you get for not paying attention. Talking about Mark Hamill's Joker impression. Uh, I had... There it is, South End. Instead of focusing on the game, you know. Whatever, like, who gives a shit? We are leveled up. It seems like leveling up does more than upgrading your weapon does. So yeah, let's do this. Did I knock into my mic stand again? Before, yes I did. Ignore that. Which one should I? I don't know. Please let me in. Like, I'm thinking, have I missed one? I don't think I've missed one. All these other bitches have gone down. I'm assuming though that she's not gonna be the final boss. I mean, they pulled a bamboozle on us in Darksiders 1 as well, where there was a real, real final boss after the Destroyer. Well, it was still the Destroyer, but just, you know, in a different... What is this place? Even. All right. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to sit through so many load screens when I die to her. Which I'm inevitably gonna die to her. Nice place. Confidence suits you. When earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. She was basically an angel. Because the idea is that they're kind of prideful. Angels are kind of dicks in this game too. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps, but not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. You're smart enough to know that someone somewhere has lied to you. The council. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies. But imagine if it were true. Imagine if you and I truly set out to give the world a direction. Order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. She's an asshole. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. Yep, too much character development. How ugly pride could be. Oh, she's pissed by that. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. Man, I actually really like her now. Yep. Oh, she straight up did an Artorias. Okay. She has a shieldy shield. Okay. Fuck, I have no respite. Oh man, I forget constantly. That, yeah. This game and its annoying habit of not refilling your Estus, <laughs> Estus, Nephilim's respite at checkpoints, it's... I like this game. I like this game a lot, actually. But that is one of the most baffling decisions I've ever seen. Fucking hell. I need to... 
oh, I see where it is. I because I my mic stand fell apart, and as I was assembling it, I think I did an oopsie, and now my chair keeps knocking into it. But that is one of the most okay. Thank you, thank you, game, that I don't have to go through that every single time. But yeah, that's one of the most like baffling decisions ever. Because it's like, why? She has like very long wind ups. Trying to get some damage over time in. Okay. My thingy is charged up. Man, that is quite the wind up. Fuck, I cannot. Okay, you really gotta learn how to dodge that. Oh shit. Oh, come on. What the hell is she doing? Oh, she has projectiles. Oh, that wind up is crazy. Jump. Oh, does it do like different things? The laser. Oh, it moves around. Okay. I kind of get it. I, it has a weird movement pattern. Man, she's actually fairly difficult. Does it just? It doesn't just move back and forth. It has like some weird movement pattern to it. Thanks, game. I think after. Like 10 hours of playing, I know that R1 is dodge. <laughs> Although maybe not. Like, I just saw this clip on Reddit <laughs> of this girl on Twitch. And she was like, I guess like 97 hours into Breath of the Wild. And only then did she get into the temple that teaches you how to dodge and like backflip and all that. Man, she was shocked. That girl was surprised as hell. And... I was surprised as hell as well, because sure you can, I will admit that you can miss the tutorial. That is possible, but how do you get that far in the game not knowing, like not figuring it out on your own? That's my bigger question. I'm not sure if this is the best weapon. Like, maybe in the shield phase, yes. She's not doing her asshole attack. Which is the spin, the Artoria spin. That one. Okay. I think I'm doing slightly better. This is the phase that fucked me up. Okay, I'm assuming... Uh, maybe you can't skip that. It probably has HP, the shield. It doesn't count, like, number of hits, right? It's coming towards me, I think. I think? Yes. 
Man, that laser is so weird. What the hell? Shit. All of a sudden, I'm not doing too well. Okay, I think time has come. Come on. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? She like took no damage. Oh, she's dead. I was mashing a little bit there, but that was kind of easy. Did you speak to the Lord of the Hollows? He knew. He too was proud. Look at my soul in the background. I knew those guys were bastards. Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you. Can you? Not empty flattery. Tell me everything. I think she looks the most badass with the flame hair. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress. I knew it. This bitch. I knew she was going to betray us. As soon as that shit with the Lord of Hollows came down. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, come on. No. That's envy. Oh. That is kind of cool, actually. Because we were using envy's thing to absorb the rest of them. And she convinced the... What a bamboozler. Oh, holy shit. She looks like death. That's a re that's the real envy. Man. Okay, so I was kind of right. I knew there was going to be another boss. I knew that couldn't have been it. shit. She's a Dementor. Come on, don't let yourself be Dementored. Oh, and I just noticed that she's green. Her skin color, you know, like green with envy. Oh, shit. That wasn't my capture card, by the way. That cutscene really was low FPS. Oh 
Oh shit. Someone is gonna save us. The Millennium Falcon, I think. Probably. Interesting, interesting. I did not see that coming. Again, I knew, I probably thought that there was, like, not probably thought, I had an idea that there was gonna be someone else as well. Because that would have been kind of an anticlimactic last boss. But we'll see, we'll see what she will be like so who saved us you snore maybe it's broken nose who the hell is this well looks like you've been busy doing what i have no idea oh wait we've met this dude before right I think. I, I get confused. Oh no, I don't think so. This is the dude from the Book of Eli. into a war they never asked for left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight all of humanity has been betrayed and yet they still fight on what about you i strayed from the path i have been jealous i have been wrathful i have been lazy I don't know, like, I would say that the one thing you cannot describe her as is lazy. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? This is the life lesson of the game, isn't it? She's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth. So when you speak of hope, hear me. I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthane. You'll see. There's a giant ass backpack that he has. They're gonna do something, they're gonna make like a portal or something. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I will wrap up this episode here. Uh, the reason is that, I mean I could go on and try to finish the game, but I think there's gonna be like a lot of end cutscenes and who knows how much is left, maybe there's a final dungeon, I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't wanna drag out this episode too much. Uh, instead, we'll get a, like a proper uh, final episode the next time around. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Darksiders 3. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.